when they think it's safe to come out. Yes, in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. Folks, nothing could be finer than to be on the 24 metre line off Port Albert at this time of the day. And with me is the local publican from a beautiful seaside shanty called Port Albert, Peter Beaton. Welcome to the show, Pete. Good morning, Rex. How are you? Now, mate, why would you want to be in the sack when you can be out in a beautiful God's country like this? Well, you got me there, Rex. You have a look around, there's nothing beats this kind of thing. There's nothing beats that, mate. Now, you, you actually serve at the bar and your meals and that sort of thing. A diverse range of people, but they all come down here because it's a unique part of the world. Well, it is the uh, good uh, snapper grounds down here, isn't it? Snapper grounds here. There's a beautiful sort of estuarine system. And I tell you what, I must compliment you on your sand flies. You like them, do you? I've been all over the world, but I've never had them carry me out of one bed and dump me into the gutter like they did last night. Well, it just goes to show, Rex. They're uh, not fussy who they carry you there. That's right? fantastic, Spray mate. Spray it on. What are you doing there, Peter? Ah, no, just uh, a nice start nice. to the day. Yeah, good little start, mate. Pull up, two minutes later, bang, straight on. Nice fish. Very, very nice fish. Beautiful pinky to start the day, mate. Very nice. Well, I agree, mate. There we are, then. You could eat ten of these with chips and just for an entree, mate. Now that is an amazing thing to come right out in the middle of the ocean. What am I doing? We're just going to lift him in. All right. Come right out in the middle of the ocean and catch a beautiful fish like that over a kilo. Probably a kilo and a bit. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snapper. Now, the thing about it is, this fish that Peter's got, you use a whole squid, well, it really doesn't matter, does it, Pete? They are an absolute... Mate, I reckon he's almost three pounder now. Oscar, what would you say? Oh, I reckon you should have to be pretty close here, wouldn't it? Yeah, very, very nice. I'd give him about a kilo and a bit. There's no doubt about that. Kilo and a half. And the two-hook rig went in. But we're going to take this home because Peter and his lovely wife, I tell you what, if you want to take a fish, these are the ones you take to eat. There are literally thousands upon thousands of these fish in. If you want to let one go, get one with a big hump on the back of his uh, noggin. So there you are, mate. Your first fish on Rex Hunt's fishing show. you a little beard, yeah? Bit of a kiss there, mate. Kiss. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, thank you, Rex. I tell you what, and what have you got to say about a snapper? <laughs> uh, one of the great things of my life, Rex. <laughs> Did you hear that? Incredible. OK, mate? Yeah, OK, Rex. There, Pete. Well, just a uh, bit of a nibble there, Rex. Bring There's him like in, one mate. in bearded it, so I'm not too sure, though, but... What, are you nominating fish before you can see them? <laughs> well... Mate, you're just fantastic, watched, aren't you? Oh, I watched the show the other Saturday, mate, and uh, yeah? picked up a few tips, yeah. Yeah, good on you, mate. Thanks very much. You're supposed to be on Sky Channel picking up the tips, mate. Post <laughs> <laughs> two number three, you <laughs> Now, once you've nominated it, mate, this is unbelievable. A bearded cod. Also known as a rock cod. Now these are the vacuum insincorator of the sea. Also known as a red rock cod for obvious reasons. Now have a look at that. Now Noel will get into his stomach there and have a look at that. And there's the remnants of the bit of slimy mackerel that Pete was using. Now mate, it's got a mouth like me. That's, I might be the mouth of the south, but this is the mouth of the northeast. Beautiful fish. In sinkerator. And I reckon you actually should put these on the menu back at the hotel at Port Albert, mate. You're probably right, Rex. Well, 
Let's do a little bit of an evening three step, mate. Take your pot Good move, Rex. Good ahead. move. Well, didn't he snaffle that, mate? She was quite a nice hit. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Here we go around again. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Are you making any predictions this time, Pierre? Well, it wasn't a bad call last one there, uh, Rex. <laughs> and I'm tipping. She's a gummy, this one, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? No? Mate, uh, I reckon you're a showbag. You're full of crap. <laughs> hey, just fantastic. It's on first name basis here. Lifting and winding. I tell you what, he's, uh, he's a serious he's fish. He's a good run. Sit down, yeah. mate. It is a good run, isn't it? The old smacker fits gibbon fish. The old Ray, <laughs> eh? He's a good swimmer, but he's got a bit of weight about him, isn't he? Oh, look at him. He's like he's coming into the runway for a landing, isn't he? A beautiful fish. Wow. Mate, I must, might just hold him to him and let him just take the hook, eh? Do you reckon that's the way to go? There we go, mate. There we go. Here we go, Rex. Oh, turn it up. <laughs> now we're on again, mate. Oh. Pinky snapper. Oh, she's only a small one. Yeah, but that's all right. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's OK. Look, it's a sign of a very, very good environment. Now, a lot of our viewers, of course, across from South Australia, their size limit over there is about 35 centimetres. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's well up there. And ours is 27. And that particular fish there is about 29 and a half, 30 centimetres and it is size for us. And the reason it's size is the fact that we have a smaller runner snapper here. But this bloke can go back. I think it's your turn, Rex. Back to you, mate. What do you think, mate? Don't let that big bloke kiss me. All right, what about me? Well, I'm talking about you. All right, we'll get Peter. No, I said one. There we go. Mate. And there we go. We kiss the same fish. <laughs> there you go, mate. Whew, he went quicker than the man going. Yes, well, sir, well this. You're on there. Now, if I'm a betting man, mate, I reckon it's what I came here to see. Look at this. Oh, the old Chinese Look lady. Look the at that. The old Chinese fish, the whiting. Now, that is a serious King George whiting. I know you people in South Australia and Western Australia, you don't have them like this. These are little babies to you. But to us in Victoria, that is a serious King George whiting of about, well, I reckon he's 400 grams. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm kissing him. I'm going to take him up there to the fish and chip shop at Port Albert and get a little bit of batter put around him for my lunch. And I tell you, I might have a couple of kilo of chips and about four dozen cans of Coke just to wash it down. How about that, folks? A real bonus. I'm going to have another go. Well, mate, we just got the slack of the tide here. Let me tell you what, we've got an announcement to make, folks. From next year on Channel Rex, Peter Beaton's fishing adventures. And why don't you come down to the Port Albert pub? Lynn and I are taking it over and get a nice snitch on a, just a cleansing ale from the old bearded burbler and his missus, eh? Well, I reckon after you pull that one in, mate, you might build up a bit of a thirst <laughs> while you're looking. <laughs> eh? This is good for business. I'll tell you what. But, but that's, what fish, that's what fishing's <laughs> about, mate. I tell you, if you're not having fun, this is the most fun you can have standing up, mate. I tell you what, it's just sensational, isn't it? Now, have a look at that. What do you got here, mate? Well, I've got an old... Well, a smacker fits gibbon fish, mate. She's an old banjo. Look at the size of him. Where are you, mate? Oh, he's heavy, isn't he? He might just break off, I think. Look at that. Now, I tell you what, I might just get over and just show the folks this, because this is a good example of set. When my old man was alive, and Peter's old man was alive. I'm sorry, mate, he's not dead yet. I've made a bit <laughs> premature in there. Sorry, Mr. Beaton. Get on you, mate. 
Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. They would actually just kill them for the sake of killing them. My old man would put them in the front garden of a bloke he had a blue with. A bit of road rage in the Volkswagen in 1951. But the old banjo shark is the old Fitzgibbon fish. Da-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-dung-d